Good morning, it's Randy. I'm speaking softly because it's early morning and there are other people in the house. I don't want them to hear me right now. But I wanted to talk about this article that I had mentioned in my previous uploaded video. It's called How to Reject Men Safely and Respectfully. And it's at Nick Notice n-i-c-k-n-o-t-a-s dot com I see now that it's a dating consultant so you do have to consider the source here um, I'm only going to read parts of the article but um, it's called How to Reject Men Safely and Respectfully Where Problems Start You can't Avoid hurting someone's feelings 100% of the time when you're rejecting someone the underlying message is, I don't like you like that. It's not easy for anyone to deal with, especially men. We're full of pride. Being rejected makes us feel emasculated and inferior. Unfortunately, some men will take their pain out on others through guilt-tripping, verbal attacks, and even physical violence. What women need to do is try and limit the negative impact of their rejection. rejection. And this all starts by understanding investment. <laughs> yeah, no one knows more about investment than the survivors of narcissistic abuse, I have to say. From a man's point of view, the more we invest our emotions or time in something, the more attached we become. <clears throat> well, maybe that's the normal man he must be talking about. So the longer that you wait to tell a man that you're not interested, the harder he will take it. I know it's not easy and that you don't want to hurt anyone. I know that you're trying to protect yourself. I also know it feels nice. I lost my spot. I also know it feels nice to get that kind of attention sometimes. <laughs> we all like feeling attractive and desirable. But by letting a guy keep believing there's a chance he can get with you, he's only going to be more frustrated, hurt, or angry when things don't pan out. And it's not worth it. Ladies, you need to be crystal clear when you're not interested in a guy. Cut things off as soon as you know you don't want to be romantic to reduce the chance of a negative reaction. Um, by the way, before I continue reading, I mean, this this article has some really annoying nuances to it. <clears throat> I don't like the tone of it. Um, it's, it's really blaming women. I guess it's, it's talking to, you know, two kinds of women, uh, ones that do routinely lead men on, and uh, for those of us who don't, it doesn't give too much, um, it doesn't give us too much confidence, because basically it warns us uh, that we need to stay safe because we're in dangerous situations when we do reject a man. Okay. The wrong ways to reject men. And this is what this guy says. Here are the four common ways that women incorrectly reject men. Okay, so there's an incorrect way. Avoidance is one way to incorrectly reject them. Maybe you think, if I just ignore him and his texts, he'll get the hint. But this almost always backfires. Many guys have a hard time moving on unless they get an explicit rejection. They'll sit around for months or years wondering, does she like me? Some men will keep hounding you until you outright reject them, and they will get progressively more intense with time. Ignoring the problem doesn't make it go away. Number two, engagement without commitment is another thing to avoid. This is when you keep in contact with a guy, but never meet up with him. You hope he'll eventually give up, so you don't have to outright say no. Or, as I 
I said earlier, sometimes it just feels good to have a man's attention. When the guy asks you out, you claim to be busy or de delay him with maybe next week. But you do this every week. That guy won't stop trying until you actually hang out. And when he realizes you're just stringing him along, he'll be justifiably upset. Not being ready yet. You might say, I'm just not looking to date right now. Maybe it could happen in the future. But in truth, you aren't that into him. What happens when that guy sees you with a new man walking around campus? Obviously, this is geared for 20-year-olds. Or he sees you on Facebook update your relationship status. He's going to feel lied to. Many terrible situations stem from a guy feeling slighted and wanting to return that hurt. So I guess the man cannot accept if you say I'm not dating right now or uh, it could it might happen in the future and then he sees you with another man or finds you continuing on a dating site. At that point he might actually want to return that hurt. This is what's weird because like hurt is he really hurt? You haven't even really met him yet. Oh my gosh. Um, turning those guys into friends is another thing not to do. Uh, you might suspect that just being friends is okay. You have an easier time separating your failed romantic connection from friendship than men do. Okay. Women, he's saying, have an easier time separating our failed romantic connection. Mm. I wouldn't call it a failed romantic connection from friendship than men do. Okay, whatever. Men claim they can handle it, but deep down they think, great, I still have time to change her mind and maybe she'll come around if we just keep hanging out. And that's not a true friendship. These guys will hang around and pretend to be your friend. When you get involved with someone else, they flip out or try to sabotage your connection. They're angry and they feel that you've used them when in reality you were just being a friend. Next time you want to reject a new guy by being friends, consider it you really want to be his friend. Are you just trying to make him feel better? If so, it's best to just move on. So now Nick has the right way to reject men. He says, by now you can see how indirect methods of rejection are not the way to go. The smartest way is being honest and direct, not only for your safety, but out of respect for the men too. Of course, you still want to approach the situation with tact. You should be polite and not personally attack. Saying I don't find you very attractive or interesting, I could never see myself having sex with you, is going to enrage quite a few men. Huh? Well, I've done that on a dating site because I've never met them, and I have written such a thing before when I want them to stop contacting me, because sometimes you do have to be blunt. Anyway, he says, instead, try... I had a lot of fun on our date, but I don't feel that chemistry with you. Or, you seem like a great guy, but I'm just not in that interested in you like that. Or, thank you for the wonderful evening. I'm sorry, but I don't see us as compatible. Good luck with your future dates. Will every man gracefully accept these rejections? No, but it's the best shot you have of things ending well. <laughs> Here's some important points to remember. Do it over text, they recommend. <laughs> when being rejected, a man's ego is getting bruised. They're overwhelmed with emotion. They can lash out, especially when alcohol is involved, and you don't want to be there when that happens. <laughs> so unless you've been dating this man for months or years, break the news over text. It's not mean, it's smart. <laughs> well, I agree with him on that one. Number two, ignore him. Well, this is kind of weird because, like I said, they said originally that 
the wrong way to reject a man is avoidance, and now they're saying that the right way to reject a man is to ignore him. Some guys will keep messaging you to get a rise or a response. They will beg, ask why you don't want them, or even blame and insult you. You don't need to justify yourself or prove why you're not a cold-hearted bitch. <laughs> no, uh, definitely not. Don't indulge their behavior. It never resolves anything. It only escalates the situation to verbal attacks. Number three, don't take back your rejection. Even if he keeps messaging you, don't let that change your mind. Don't let him make you feel guilty and talk to him because of it. Don't agree to be friends when you don't want to be. Don't change your story and give him false expectations for the future. And if you have a hard time ignoring him, block him. Delete any online messages you get from him immediately. Don't even read them once you've rejected him. And don't engage him. Most guys will move on. And the last one is don't reinitiate communication unless you're serious. I don't care if you're feeling lonely and want someone to comfort you. I don't care if you're feeling bad and want to make sure he's doing okay. Unless you've decided you really want to pursue a romantic connection, then leave him be. Otherwise, you're going to re-spark his hope. And when that doesn't work out again, he's only going to feel shittier. If you don't like someone, you shouldn't feel bad about it. You can't change who you're attracted to. So I'm telling you right now, you have the permission to say no. Just be smart about it. Be compassionate yet clear and leave no room for ambigu ambiguity. It's the most caring way you can reje reject a man. So this guy has such sympathy for the way that a man is rejected. And yes, I can understand not trying to actually provoke someone, but this, the way this guy re writes this article, it's kind of like we have to walk on eggshells. And like it says... In the title, we need to reject men safely. And uh, that implies that while we re are in that position of rejecting a man's advances, that we are in danger. And that is the truth. Thanks for listening.